everyone. Hope you all are doing great. We the students from Sri Ramakrishna College of Arts and Science from the Department of Physics are here with an interesting video on Newtonian nation. Myself, Shagapriya and my friend Shreya are here to explain about an interesting one. Come let's get into the video. When I say there is a person earning 140 crores per annum, completely their studies abroad and is a CEO of a leading company, what comes to our mind first that they must be extremely studious, completely dwelled into their work, somebody who is workaholic, somebody who either doesn't have any or has a very limited social life or any personal interest. But what if I say that one need not to be all these things to achieve heights in their life? Yes, studying well our respective subjects and topics related to our fields is important. But what's more important is working hard and smart towards achieving your goal. And today we are here to talk about one such example who proves that you need not sacrifice your hobbies, interests, social and personal life to achieve greater things in life. And that goals can be accomplished very well even when you are enjoying your life to the fullest. The example is none other than the designated CEO of Starbucks, Mr. Lakshman Narasimhan. Yes, Starbucks, the coffee company which burns a hole in our pockets. While it might be a big deal for many of us to think about spending such an amount for our daily beverages, there are many people who can afford and do enjoy their daily beverages from this brand on almost a daily basis. Starbucks has been a hit across the world and has a huge number of consistent consumers. And Mr. Lakshman Narasimhan is going to be the leading this company. On talking with Mr. Lakshman and interviewing him, Mohit Gundesha, a student from COEP, College of Engineering Public University, got to see the other side of this rich and successful businessman. Mr. Lakshman shared that he would rather read any other book than a business book. He showed varied interest in many fields and followed them. Despite being so busy and having so many responsibilities, Mr. Lakshman shares a special bond with his friends and is still connected to his roots. He is still in contact with his schoolmates. His schoolmates revealed how he used to play street cricket with them. From playing street cricket to leading a successful company like Starbucks, he indeed has reached a long way but that didn't mean he lost all the connections with his hobbies. He still follows everything from sports to entertainment and from rock music to Carnatic. His school friend and classmate said that he is a very humble and approachable guy. The fact that they still have a group on social media for the 1982 batch proves it. He still keeps all his friends updated and posted about what's going on in his life. Even though now he is earning this huge amount as a salary, things didn't come easily to him from the very beginning itself. His mother was a school teacher and he said he had to sell things and borrow money to be able to study from Wharton Business School and to arrange his visa. He also had to face a phase in his life where he could afford only one meal in a day, but rather than taking it in a negative way. He considered it to strengthen his resilience. When he can learn from Mr. Lakshman is that a perfect balance between personal and work life will help us achieve amazing things with a healthy and happy state of mind. He breaks all the stereotypes about successful people and assumption. We should be proud of him and take inspiration from him about staying connected with our roots till the end. We should never forget where we came from. So let's build our dreams and work towards achieving our goals without sacrificing our happiness every time. Take inspiration from amazing beings around us and take another step towards our successful in life. Thank you for watching this video. Soon we will be back with another interesting video. Until then signing off from Sagapriya and Shreya.